You know, World War I ended on November 11th at 11 o'clock in the morning. Exactly 11 o'clock. So this poem takes place in Paris. And there's a man there in the celebrations, and he doesn't know that his best friend has just died. The bed, shaking at the sound of thousands of feet. Awakened at the sound of thousands. It's a window of humanity. Thousands marching towards the square. All eyes, all on the clock. All eyes, all on the clouds of smoke from cannons, firing cannons, pounding, cannons reloading, cannons they're belching out, they're belching out smoke. Breastworks, crawling breastworks. It's no man's land. And down in the trenches, beneath the barbed wire, down in the trenches, <laughs> the body, the body, and the soul rising. Through barbed wire, the soul, it swirls out. And then it soars over cannons, pounding, cannons, firing, cannons exploding, cannons shot towards the clock. Paris, November 11th, 11 o'clock, an ocean of hats swirl past his window. Past his window, an ocean of hats. And the soul enters his heart. Okay, this is the exact same poem from the perspective of a French deaf man. <coughs> I'm coughing. <laughs> An interpreter for that. We should have someone come up and stand you. <laughs> you are slow. What's the matter with you? I trust the interpreter. <laughs> Let's do this again. Sorry for the technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, this is the exact same poem told from the perspective of a French deaf man who was born and raised in the French countryside. He never learned sign. 
He never learned to read or write. His sole source of communication is through gesture. It's 70 years later, and he's still angry. his heart. You know when you go to the movies and you see the previews before the show? Well, often the previews are better than the movie itself. So what we're going to show you now is a preview of the exact same story. The bed, the window, thousands, the clock, thousands, hearts 
Pounding, cannons firing, cannons exploding, bodies falling. The shot, the body, and the soul. Through barbed wire, it swirls out to his heart. He closes the window and the bed is silent. <laughs>